All right, hey, this is my M13. It's uh, been calibrated and stacked here, and that's that's it so far. So if we just do the auto stretch, you can see the colors are kind of off in the background and everywhere else. So we'll start with uh, photometric color calibration first off. So that's the very first thing we want to do. I pull up my image parameters. They're in the image already, and uh, we'll start that going. So once we get that done, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to do a stretch on our our uh, image to uh, just to kind of get things how we want it to be at. It won't be as aggressive as what the auto stretch is. I don't like what they do. I think it's a little too aggressive. So <clears throat> as soon as this finishes, we'll do that. Photo color, photometric color calibration is done. So we'll just close up all this stuff. If we do an auto stretch, we can see now better, you know, already the colors look better, better balanced. So we'll take off our auto stretch and we'll bring up the histogram window. For view here, we're going to change this to integration. And then we're going to hit our uh, real-time preview button and that's going to bring up this window and I just like to bring it to the center and we're going to bring our midpoint we're going to grab that just use click and hold the mouse button and drag that over now it's hard to see there so if you take your cursor and you just go to this window and you roll your mouse button down it's going to zoom in on kind of where you are. So I'm just going to keep doing that, uh, and that's good for now. We're going to take the midpoint, drag it some more, and we'll drag it. Now, yeah, about there, that's pretty good. We're also going to take their black point, and we're going to drag that to the right. <clears throat> this is our, our cutoff point, right? So we'll keep dragging that. Um, see, we've got 127 pixels that have been cut off, which is not a big deal. You don't want to do too many there. You want to try to keep that as low as you can. Um, kind of move that up. Bring that down a bit more. Um, it's kind of up, you know, personal taste at this point. But bring that up. We're starting to bring out all those fainter background stars. We're also sort of blowing out the core. So we'll work on that next. We'll see my black point is 15,000. We can maybe cut that down a bit. Uh, you know what? That's actually not too bad. I think we'll keep it right around there. I don't know, normally would go this high because uh, if you have nebulosity and stuff, it can start to cut off the really faint stuff. Uh, typically, I try to keep this, I don't know, no more than just a couple of thousand for actual clip pixels, but uh, in this case, I think it's it's should be all right. <clears throat> so I'm going to apply this, and we're going to close this down, and we're going to close this down. Now the first thing we're going to see is uh, background is pretty noisy, uh, but we got our colors. You can kind of see them there, right? Uh, core is kind of blown out. There's, there's a couple of things we can do now, but but first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a mask. So. For a simple mask, we're going to go up to this here, which says extract uh, CIEL component. That's your luminosity component. So we're going to click on that. And it brings up a nice black and white image. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, because we're making this a mask, we want to um, basically build what data do we want to keep to work with and, and, it, and what data we don't want to work with. So we're going to bring up our histogram transformation again and uh, make sure we've selected that uh, our mask and we are going to click on real-time preview now <clears throat> I think what we'll try to do is we'll maybe fix up this core first of all uh, so we're going to zoom in one-on-one -on -one for our thing here now we're going to grab our black point and we're going to bring this over we're going to keep bringing it over bringing it over bringing it over 
So we just got basically the core selected. So, uh, you know what, right there is not too bad. We're going to hit apply. We're going to close this stuff down now. So there's, this is, this is our mask. Uh, just for the sake of it, we're going to rename this to mask. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to take your uh, mouse cursor, click on the mask, just hold down your left mouse button and drag it to the side here. Now you've applied your mask. Uh, rule of thumb, red conceals, white reveals. So right now we've got all the background blacked out and uh, just the core is, is showing up with some of the brighter stars, but that's all right. <clears throat> so we're going to drag this to the side. We're going to make a clone of this. This is just to give us an idea of what we're starting with. We'll go back to our masked one. And we're going to move our mouse button up to where it says show hide mask. We've got a couple of different buttons here. Um, invert mask changes the mask around. So now we're just showing the background stuff and hiding the core. But we don't want to, we want to keep it on revealing the core and hiding all the other stuff. And we're going to show hide mask. Now we're going to go to the HDR transform. Click on that. Um, default. I think is this is what it's, or it says default number layer six and iterations one. We're going to keep it at that and we're just going to try. So we'll just drag that over and we'll see what we get. Now sort of contrary to what you think, um, number of layers moving down actually increases how much is um, sort of brought down or whatever. Uh, but so this is too much so we're going to undo that and we're going to change this we're going to go up to we'll, we'll try eight layers and try that again now if you look that's that's not too bad. That might even be a bit too much to um, Yeah, I think that might be a bit too much. So maybe go up to nine, try it nine. Give it one more shot here. And uh, we'll see what this does. We don't want to blow it out too much. It's actually not too bad right now. Just the way I did my stretch on it for this time. But sometimes it's really blown out. Uh, that's that's more subtle. We'll take that. Okay, so we'll just close that down. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Just shrink it. Hide it out of the way. All right. Now this mask is no good for our next step, uh, which we're going to do is to bring out the color. So we can. Uh, just undo our previous stretch if you select a mask and go to your undo and uh, that brings us back to the original mask <clears throat> so now we're going to do a new histogram on it make sure your mask is selected click your real-time preview and brings up the mask same sort of ideas before but we don't want to be as aggressive and cutting our black point so we're just going to bring this down till uh, we just kind of get rid of most of the background um, without really losing. We we do want it to be black though. We definitely want the background to be black. And right about there is pretty good. Okay, and we're gonna apply that. Close this stuff down. Now the mask is still applied from before, so we don't need to reapply this because it's still there. Anytime the mask is on this little tab here is brown or orange, whatever color that is. <clears throat> so and we can just see, we'll, we'll go uh, to our show hide mask, you can see there. Now you can see a lot more of the uh, cluster is, is visible. So we want to keep it on this right now. So we'll, again, we're going to just click on our show hide mask button. And what we're going to do now 
is we're going to click on the curves, <clears throat> bring up our curves transformation. And we're going to go to this last tab right here. This is our saturation. And if we go just basically kind of drag from the middle of the of the or, uh, of this line here. If I go all like this, you can s oops, sorry. We're going to put on our real time preview. I drag this here, you can see now all the colors pop there. You just bring them out. That's, that's way too much, right? So I'm going to do it just in increments. So we're just going to go like this and apply. And we'll give it another shot. And the nice thing about doing by increments is, um, you, you know, you working with your real-time preview and uh, you can go back. Like for example here, I'm going to go too many just to show you. You know, like, well, that's that's too much. I got a little bit carried away, and then we're like, yeah, we want to back that off. Since we just worked with increments, it's easy enough, right? Just go to our undo. We can kind of go back and forth now with the undo and redo, just to find something that's a little more pleasing. And we'll just say we don't want to go too crazy, so we'll just leave it at this. So now we've brought over a lot of our colors. Looks pretty nice. Um, the background's kind of noisy, so why don't we work on the background? We're going to click on our uh, show hide mask, and we're going to invert it. <clears throat> so now we're protecting the core and the stars, and we've got just the background is all selected. So we're going to again hide the mask. I'm going to build a couple of preview windows. Say we'll take one in this corner. And we're going to do one that sort of catches the stars right there. Click on our preview. And I use the uh, TVG uh, denoise. And we're going to leave it at our default just to try it. Uh, we'll just drag that over. And we'll see what we get. Just by running the preview windows, you get a better idea of what you're gonna, what it's gonna look like in the final. And they're much smaller. And you have the ability if you hold down uh, Control Shift Z, you can cycle between the uh, current one and and the original. So I'm gonna increase this some more. Just apply it. Yeah, that's not too bad. Could go up one more. It's pretty noisy right now. Just change this up to another layer. We'll maybe kind of go there. Apply it. See what this gives us. Yeah, that might be too much. You know, it's again, it's all personal preference right I don't like it to look too um, like to have too much noise reduction it just has that sort of weird kind of look to it eh, you know what we'll take this check to see what it looks like on this here window with more stars so we don't want the stars to get too soft it should be being protected by the mask but uh, sometimes you never know that looks good actually Go back to there. We're going to get rid of our previews. Just go to preview, delete all, and now drag and drop. Then apply our denoise to our whole image. And it just takes a moment to run that. And that's, you know, for the, for all intents and purposes, that's pretty much the whole thing. Like, that's this is, in general, my uh, train that I, that I run. And, and there we go. And done. So now we've brought out the colors. We've uh, 
did a little bit of HDR transformation on the core so it's not quite so blown out. Um, you know what I mean? You can play around with your histogram if you want to bring these this background down a little bit. Uh, you know, again, kind of to your personal preference. And, and but that's that's it. Like it's pretty pretty basic. Um, and you got this. You got nice colors and that. You can apply after you do everything to your uh, SCNR green removal. Pop that on there. Take out a bit of that green. And, and we're done and and that's everything hope that helps you if any questions just uh, message me